Now we get an epic finale for the final episode of season 4 and because of it I was so amazed, quite excited because Endeavor show us in this week's episode why he become the number one hero. Yes, even if All Might leave, he was quite the strongest after All Might and because of this I was so amazing, so excited because Endeavor said he doesn't like to use this this word because it remind him of UA plus ultra when he use plus ultra to use his final attack his final amazing burst everybody was quite excited so bef before he actually uses everybody was in despair because they were saying there's no symbol of peace after all might retire but Endeavor showed them in this week's episode he was a new symbol of peace now Endeavor was having problem going up against this gnome because this gnome can actually regenerate. He, he, this one, this is one of the strongest gnome that by far we ever saw, and because it's it's one of the strongest, it was it was quite amazing because two of the hero, yes, the third rank, and are the second rank and the first rank have to go up against this gnome, and because both of them was quite strong, and they couldn't couldn't actually beat this gnome so quickly. So, we get to see the reason why Endeavor wanted to have a child that have two core, ice and fire, because when any one of his child that get the fire power, their body will go into overeat, the body will go into overdrive, and because when their body go into overdrive and they over and they overeat, their their, their power is actually destroying their own body. So, when he have his son that have the coal and ice, Endeavor was quite happy because when, when his son is using the fire power and he's, and, he will, and he's gonna go into overeat, his son can use the ice power to offset. Yes, to offset the overeat and he can, use, can push his power or push both of those power to the limit. And because of this, Endeavor was looking back on this past because he saw that he made a whole lot of mistakes. And because he made a whole lot of mistakes, he wanted to make up for it. Now, the last scene of the episode, you see Midora was dreaming about who? One for all. He was dreaming about the original wheeler of one for all. The first user or the original. So, the original or the, the main carrier of one for all said to Midora, you are the ninth. This means that Midora is the ninth person to have one for all. And because he's the ninth person, Midora get to see the previous, yes, the previous generation of one for all, but he could not see some of them. Maybe when, when one for all adapt to his body or he, get, he, he reach almost 100% of one for all, it will meet all of them. And because of this, I can't wait. So for the final episode of season five, um, season four, I'm quite excited. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen in season five because they said it will continue in season five. That means that they will make they, they are making a season five right now. We're not gonna know when it's gonna come out, but it's gonna come out um later later this year. But I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. So for the season four, end of our final fight against this gnome, the final episode of season four, ten out of ten. It was quite epic, especially when they show us that Miller up Midora will see in the past generation of one for all and we get to see one for all going up against um, all for one and because of this I can't wait to see what's gonna happen in season 5 so remember to subscribe or like the video comment in the comment box if you feel like it thank you for watching hope to see you again in future episodes of this amazing series